All right, guys. So we're back again. Uh, we're going to maybe do the part two of the cutting. This is going to. This really is going to be a quick one. Uh, last night I was managed. I managed to find some uh, some ten mil plate hanging about. So um, today what we're going to do was just cut that little piece and then get a little like bits of the other part done. Um, I've marked it there um, because it runs out for some reason. It's been cut on a on a guillotine, I think. So um, I don't know how much it runs out. Get out, dogs. I'll cut it from there. So let's get uh, cooking. Bang on. So now we know that these plates and everything are all all in there perfectly. So uh, just on to uh, cut the rest of it out. Right. So sort of encountered a little problem here on the plans. This bottom part is. 4x3 or in millimetres 100 by 75 now these aren't the legs but they're, they're the same material as what I'm going to be using and if I pan your ear these were meant to go onto some plate here see that there we go right so this should have been four by three so it should have been three inch by four inch tall which would have left half an inch either side for um sorry yeah it would have been three inch that way but there were welding plate on the on the outsides that would have brought it with the bushing enough for the stabilizer legs but what i'm thinking is is because i've gone four inch and if i put anything on the outside like plates plates on the outside here which is what what the plans call for i'm going to make this distance even bigger and no amount of bushing will be good enough really for that so what i'm thinking of is is What I'm thinking of doing is chamfering the corners off on this and that'll that that'll well or, or even open up open up on the top here something not not to that line but somewhere and the same on the bottom and what that'll do I'll, I'll put, weld the plates on the inside for where this bushing's going then that'll uh, where the stabiliser leg's gonna go and what that'll do is it'll close that gap in there plus the bushing i think that'll be fine um i'll close all that gap up in there so it calls for six mil plate to be used inside there so i'll close that up 12 mil inside plus the bushing it, it won't be as much but i want to be able to have the legs come up to a, a fairly fairly good angle to um you know to fold up out the way 
Um, so that's why I'm going to take the cut out of the top. I think it only needs to be maybe yeah, 50 mil from the from the top and from the bottom. That'll allow it to go all the way down and all the way up almost. But have the plate welded inside here. I could extend it out from the inside, but I'm I'm just just figuring it out at the moment. It's quite hard for my little brain. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm done. I'm done with cutting at the moment. Um, so I'll show you where I've got in a bit.